<laughs> Maria's here. Put down your country if you would, so everyone can see. Who else do we have with us? Ah, okay. Vasu's here from Tunisia. We have to say Tunisia now. <laughs> that, that's how we do Tunisia in ELTT. Who else is with us? Looks like more people coming in now and joining. Please type where you're from. Tell us who you are. Baba is right here from Greece. We have English teachers something from Ukraine. Mexico City, Australia, Spain, here they come. <laughs> India. Fantastic. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we're starting a little earlier today. Uh, of course, it depends where, where you are, what early means. It could be the most perfect time for you. Um, but we have, oh, Brazil is here. Um, it's um, really a tremendous pleasure, I know I always say this, to introduce <laughs> the presenter because, um, well, we have some really outstanding folks with us as presenters. Uh, Jason West is a special person to me because he's uh, played a major role in influencing uh, what I've done uh, as an English teacher and trainer, especially through social media, because Jason West, if you don't already know him or know about English out there, is uh, the first, the first uh, approach to teaching and learning uh, English and a second language in general through social media. So this, this is a pioneer extraordinaire uh, who's put together a, a program, English Out There, that's been in existence for, I forget how many years, but it's been a while. He's been doing this for a while uh, with some really spectacular results. He is going to join us in just a minute. As, I, as usual, I've told uh, presenters to wait a minute so we can see if everything's working and say, say hello to everyone. And just as I was Hello. Thinking, he beamed Hello. me right up there. <laughs> 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 how, how, down how funny. Way, way down, way down. I got to turn it down, yeah, yeah. Okay, hold on. Is it doing your head in? Like a bear. He, he always looks looks that way, but he doesn't always sound that way. So we can keep their uh, vibe going with your look, but, the, but the, the growling bear on the microphone has to stop. <laughs> we'll check him in a second. How's my, how's my level, guys? Is it okay? Can I get a, a thumbs up or something or a yes for, the, for my sound? I'm okay. Okay, I'm how's okay. that? How's oh, that now? A world of difference. Is that? Is that for, for me? Is that better? Yeah. Why don't you go ahead, uh, Jason? I, I just I, all I said about you. I just I just had a, a few words to introduce you. Uh, I'll let you watch the recording later. Okay. Uh, but um, I'll, I'll repeat it because I want to tell you. Uh, just I explained how influential you've been to me and so many others. Um, how it's how it's, oh. it's, it's just. <laughs> Amazing to have you here, and I'm excited to hear more about what you've been doing lately. But you're this pioneer that is, you know, the first guy to take a, to make a course and uh, an approach using social media. And this is just uh, so exciting uh, to see where you're going with it. And um, yeah, and I didn't tell them any details about you. It'd be great if you could share that kind of introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. And what I'll do is uh, turn the camera off and my mic off. And if you want me, you just summon me back, and, and I'll come give you a hand or, or help you do whatever you need. Sound okay? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> I'll yeah, come, fine. Hearing. I'll come back if you need me. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. English like Jason West of English out there. Take it away. Thank you. Okay. Hi folks, nice to meet you. Can everyone hear me okay? Yeah? Brilliant, okay. Now then, um, very loudly Isabel, okay. Valentina, 
Nguyen Du, okay. Jason that says, I look and sound great. Okay. That'll be the first time then. Um, okay, so, my name's Jason, and um, I started, let's think, I've been working in ELT since about 1992. Uh, I started a school in London, in Soho, in Chinatown, in 1992, and I, I knew nothing about teaching English, and I'd done a, a sort of one-week introduction to teaching English thing, and and started with um, ten chairs and a tiern and um, and a whiteboard and a couple of books, and and then started handing out leaflets at Piccadilly Circus. So I'm kind of self-taught, you know. In a couple of years, we had the whole building, and we're accredited by the British Council and all of that stuff. Um, so, you know, I, I, I started off teaching and then decided I wasn't very good at it and got some proper teachers in and then I went into the marketing, but I always kept an eye on stuff and I socialized with the students and, you know, um, was really interested in the, in the, in the teaching of English because my background in education is that I did a, a large chunk of my, my degree was in psychology. And I'm very interested in, in memory, okay? So, so I come at teaching English from, um, more of a, a sort of psychological perspective, interested in memory, rather than a, a purely linguistic approach to it, you know, going on about the words and stuff like that, you know, words are words, hey, what a <laughs> you write them down, you speak them, they, they're, they're different every time. Okay, so, Hi Sylvia. Um, so that's a bit about me. My company's called English Out There. It was uh, I started it in 2001, so we've been going woo over a decade now. Seems like 300 years. Um, but I did it because I I wanted to do something different, and I wanted to teach some people some English and then take them out onto the streets of London and get them using it to uh, practice with complete strangers on the streets of London. So, sounds like a crazy concept, sounds really dangerous, you know, like someone might get knifed or run over by a bus or what, you know, anything could happen. And um, But, it, 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 you know, the worst that's happened in, what is it, in 12 years is... Um, is that someone got off a bus and twisted their ankle. So, touch wood, you know, uh, my floor's wooden. Um, that's the worst thing that's happened. But in the meantime, thousands of students have come through my school in London, been taught some language, and then gone out and used it with complete strangers minutes later on the streets of London. And um, that's how English Out There was designed. It was designed to to do that because um, I wanted, I, I, I didn't think it was a good idea that people would spend lots of money and come to London and, um, and, 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 and then sit in a classroom with lots of people from lots of different places around the world making different mistakes with their first language, their habitual mistakes, and, and practice that way when the English-speaking world was, was outside the door. So... So that's what I, that's kind of what I, what I wanted to, to do, you know. Um, so let me, let me just, that's, that's that, and that started in 2001. And then as technology progressed and we progressed, you know, doing that in the real world, we, I started using Skype in 2006 or five maybe. Um, and then got involved in producing the content that we used. We realized that we had to do something different with the content because we were taking people out of the classroom. So, you know, got into producing course books and putting them out on PDFs and stuff like that, just specifically for this process. And, um, and started using Skype and technology to, 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 to do the same thing as we did on the street, but online. Okay. And we've learned a lot, a lot of stuff. So you guys hopefully have um, downloaded something, 
So let's let's go to the let's go to the next slide. Now then, this is a PDF, a EOT PDF, English out there, that is just here displayed um, in Concept Board in Chrome. You know, something to scribble on it. Um, now, hi, hi, Sarah, greetings, greetings to Egypt. Um, so, when you download a PDF, an English out there PDF, there are, there are a number of ways you can work with it. But the, the whole point of the PDF is it's not a test. It's not, you know, you're not really going to be learning from the words and images on the paper. There's, there's going to be new bits of vocab in there, probably, like with everything that you come across. But it's, it's, it's preparation, okay? It's, it's, its main purpose is preparation to give you some language that uh, you get clear in your head that comes to the front of your consciousness and enables you to feel comfortable about going into a conversation using that language. Okay. Now, so this is what a PDF um, looks like. And, you know, they all look slightly different, but it looks generally like this. So you do the exercises, which hopefully some of you have done. And we'll have a go in a bit and see if that works. Um, and you go through the whole thing, and, it, and, and, and it's just, you know, you can do all of it or bits of it, but, but do as much as you can to feel confident about having a little conversation at the end. And, and, and the reason we've got um, different levels is that you're meant to choose, if you're choosing these for your students, um, you're meant to choose the level that's appropriate to their speaking level, okay? Um, because the task is a spoken task. And and so, um, you know, often over the years at the OT, we, we've had students who, who can read and write very, very well. This is a common phenomenon around the world. Now, they can read and write pretty well because that's the way, you know, that's the way everyone's taught um, from primary school upwards is they primarily learn English through reading and writing and, and then get into doing a little bit of speaking later. But... If you can, there are millions and millions of students who can read and write very well, but can't speak. They find it difficult to speak. And, um, so, so we don't, we don't place people on their, on their, their general reading and writing and speaking. We just place them on their speaking. And, uh, and so someone might be, a, a upper intermediate, but if they can't speak, they're given elementary materials. And, and the reason for that is that, they need to feel comfortable with the language that they're going to speak. So it's really easy. Their brain is not worrying about the language. It's just worrying about having a conversation with a fluent English speaker. And, and that means that they're, they're operating much more efficiently. And, and they're, they're to bring all their energy and, and, and um, adrenaline into the conversation. Okay. Um, so it's all about focusing down, giving them something interesting to say, Something that the other person is going to find reasonably interesting and, and scaffolding, supporting them into that conversation. So that's, that's why we, we, we use these materials. And these materials, um, they're, they're, there's no, no one authored these. Um, they are, uh, the, the result of, of eight, seven, eight years of teaching English out there on the streets of London and creating lesson plans and then teachers feeding back into the uh, process and so they've been through many 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 iterations so these are these are these are materials that have been taught hundreds if not well, probably yes definitely thousands of times we reckon about 250,000 hours have gone into the creation of the material so it's so they're, they're based on like crowdsourced or crowdfunded course crowdsourced materials they're a bit like that Okay, so it, it, it's to focus on something that's relevant to the learner. Right, let's go to the next one. Um, so as we started doing this, um, and as technology started moving on, you know, when we when we were teaching people 
at the start, and they went out on the street, we noticed that they were they were improving really, really quickly. Not and, and not only that they were becoming more confident, but also their pronunciation was improving very quickly. And 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 what they do is when they go out on the street, um, they talk to they're, they're instructed to talk to two or three people, so they have the same conversation two or three times, and that way they get the repetition that they need, and they get a slightly different conversation each time. Okay, but with technology, as you can see here, um, let's go down here. You know, we started off. I started off with Skype, and you can record your Skype calls online. So if you do, if you print off uh, an EOT lesson and write on it with a pen, old technology, or put it in a, an Adobe Reader or a, a PDF Reader and scribble on it like that concept board, do the exercise. Then you go on to Skype, and you talk to two or three English speakers and record it, okay, and then listen again, and there's a very good reason why you listen again two or three times, um, so, you know, this record button here is, uh, signifies the record button on your mobile phone, so, you know, we all, we all have, um, we all have voice recorders on our phones now, and so, you know, you can you can record yourself talking to someone across the table, just practicing your English or or, or whatever. But also, you can um, record conversations online. So you know, like this this session in this classroom in WizIQ is being recorded. Um, you know, I'm wearing a little Helpouts hoodie here, and Helpouts is a new service by Google, which is um, involves Google Hangouts being merged with kind of Google Plus. And they put a billing system in so people can pay, and it automatically records your video calls. Uh, well, you both have to agree to the recording, and that's okay. And then you can you can listen again to yourself speaking English. And the really important thing about about recording is, I will explain. Um, let me just um, check one thing. Um, Okay, so you can do the recording face to face or online. Predominantly, people are moving more online, but I'll, I'll talk about the face to face thing anyway in a minute. Now then, let's go to the the next one. Is everyone with me so far? Are you uh, are you all with me? Is this is this making sense? Yeah. Okay. Paolo says okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so some of the formatting's gone a bit wonky in here, but never mind. So, feed your students' brains. Does anyone know what that means? <laughs> any, any, any idea what kind of nonsense I'm on about? <laughs> feed them, Jesus. <laughs> Tatiana says yes. Okay, come on then. No, not brainstorm ideas, Armando. Not, not that. Okay, make them think, yeah, I plus one, oh, Mr. Levine, very good, I plus one, but I plus one with a turbocharger on it, if anyone doesn't know what I plus one is, it's, it's crashing, is that um, you should you should try and have conversations or, or, or use language at the level that you're currently at, plus one, which is just above it. So that you're getting new stuff, but 80, 90 percent of what you're using, you you can use without much sweat or without much problem. So that's I plus one. So what 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 I'm talking about with feeding students brains is that, you know, when 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 we all speak to each other, we make sound waves, and the sound travels either through the room or down this wire, becomes digital, then comes out the other end, goes in our ear, and all of that sound is is basically Digital. It can be digital. It's data. Okay. It's data that goes in your brain, and your brain decodes it and says, "That's what he's saying." And you go, "No, rubbish, bollocks. I don't want to know." But you know, or you might say, "Yes, great. I love you. Give me a kiss." But all the time, your brain is decoding sounds. Okay. So when you speak to someone using English is a second language or a third language, and you record it, you're recording the sound, and then in, when you listen again, your brain finds it really interesting because you're 
A, not speaking your first language, B, speaking a second language, C, making some mistakes, but also gently being corrected by a fluent speaker. And I must add here that it's better to speak to a non-teacher than a teacher, okay? Because a teacher is trained to say, no, 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 you don't say it like that, you say it like this, and stop you, okay? A non-teacher a non will say, sorry, what? Can you say that again? Sorry? Oh, that's how you say it. Oh, yeah, no, oh, you mean this, yeah. So the, the correction is very gentle because you're, you're, you're trying to find meaning, you're negotiating meaning. So if you record those sounds, those conversations, and then let your brain listen to them again two or three times, what you're doing is feeding your brain the right kind of information for it to start to recognize the patterns of communication and attach meaning to them, okay? And that is how you learn vocab, how you acquire um, language, how you, how you correct your, um, your pronunciation, because you'll hear your habitual mistakes and this is why when I talk to people, you know, and, and when you talk to a native speaker, often people repeat each other in little sort of tit for tats back and forward. And, and, and they, and they go, oh, 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 said, said that, did he, said that, did he, you know. So, and then you get this kind of to and forth mirroring of each other. And, and that's where you can hear that you're not pronouncing it correctly. So, so it's, it's really important to listen to yourself speaking English and to record your conversations and also that the, the, the language, it's important that the language is interesting and is relevant to your level and that's where the content comes in, okay? So preparation, content preparation gets you into a conversation, record it, do it two or three times, listen to the recordings two or three times and what you're getting then is like an exponential increase in the amount of useful information for your brain, okay? So the, the graph looks like that because, you know, everyone knows that immersion works and, and if you put someone into a country and say, get on with it, after a while, because they're getting lots of data and feedback, they start picking up the meaning behind the patterns of the sounds that they're getting, okay? But, um, but but because if you're in a country where you don't speak English and you don't get much exposure to it, you don't get to hear those patterns very much. So what we're doing by doing EOT is getting people into a situation where we can feed their brain the patterns with meanings. And it's at, as Jason said, I plus one. Okay. So the, I, I put those in a, in, a, in, a, in a chapter from this book that Nelly also published as well. And there's, look, there is research on this and, it, and, it, and it's... It's fairly um, well documented um, in, in a number of fields. And, and if you think about, you know, why do people watch videos when for their golf swing? Why do singers listen to themselves sing? Um, it's all about learning and it's all about feeding back naturally in a way that your brain finds it easy to um, correct. Okay, and, and, it, and it happens quite naturally. It's painless. You don't have to have any injections or anything like that. It's very, very easy. You just listen to yourself speaking and your brain finds that interesting. Um, so let's go on to the, um, the next one, looking at the time. Now, what, what we've been doing in London, you know, and, and you might say, oh, that's all well and good, but do students like it? You know, what do they think about it? And, um, well, this summer in London, and I, I got, uh, I'll give you the, the link to this group, okay. Da, da, da. Let's just plop it in there. Okay, you can go and have a look and you can go and have a listen. This summer in London, I decided, you know, two years ago, we decided with the face-to-face -face summer school, I said I wanted to ditch classrooms, so we don't use classrooms at all. We start all the lessons outside in public spaces, and we finish them all outside. We never see a classroom for eight weeks. And um, this summer, I said, "Okay, right, I'm gonna, I, I want, I want 
to do some experiments. We want to get the learners to use their phones or their cameras and um, <laughs> and, and, and record their conversations with members of the public. They ask first, you know, can I record you? You know, they say, excuse me, I'm learning English. Can I ask you some questions? And by the way, can I record it? Well, learn that off by heart. And, and, and we put all the responses into a G plus group, a community, and, and you can go and listen to people, um, talking to members of the public on the streets of London last summer, okay, and practicing less language from English out there lessons. Um, so, so you can go and have a look and, and then we ask them some questions in our questionnaire. And out of this group, which is the first group of the side, 27 thought, that the idea of making recordings was a good one. Four said no, and five were kind of unequivocal. But what this says is that the students really got the idea and they, and they worked out that, that if they recorded themselves speaking the language from the lesson with a fluent, a few fluent English speakers, they were going to pick up a lot of useful information that would help them with their pronunciation and also grammar. Um, so you can go and have a look at that. I'll get a move on because we want to have a chat with some people soon. Um, so, how many guys have downloaded um, the sample lessons? Just, just give me a quick idea. Paolo has, Helena has, Armando has, okay. So, now, what, and Basum, okay, well done guys. So, what we're going to do now is, if I can ask Jace, or I can do it if you tell me how, we want to get um, someone to have a chat with me on here and just ask me some questions from the lesson. <laughs> That's all we want to do. Is that possible? I can't hear you, Chase. The microphone is now on. I thought I'd had it on. Sorry. Um, what I we can, can do you, is, yeah. I think, yeah, fantastic idea. Um, what we need to do is, yes, what Sylvia just said. If someone uh, regularly uses their webcam and microphone, that would be the first uh, requirement for this. So, yeah, it depends on who's ready here. If we have someone that would like to try it, it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Boy, that's a great way to quiet the chat box, Jason. Nice. <laughs> Nora, Nora and Batu. <laughs> let's, let's try okay, we go. Well, it's good to have <laughs> people in case we have a connection issue. So we've got Nora and Batu. I'm going to start with Nora. I'm going to disappear so we don't have three people up here at once, which might make it harder. One sec. Okay, Jay's. I'm doing a first, but okay. uh, his stuff is taking a while here, so let me also get Nora going, and we'll see. And Nora, do you have a, a camera? Actually, the camera is not so important, is it, Jason? No, no the, uh, just the right. audio is good. Okay. <laughs> the other thing is, um, if uh, if if it does come on, Nora or Basum, you're going to see a little pop-up window asking you to enable and remember the settings. So you're going to want to press allow when you see that. Basum, it looks like you have the microphone. Oh, it disappeared. <laughs> is there is there a third? Representers. <laughs> connection issues for Basum and Nora. Is there a third person 
that might want to do this with us. Nora's very yeah, keen. Yeah, bad, Nora. I'm trying. <laughs> it actually, it, it tried to give you the microphone, and then it just stopped. So I'm trying that again. Let me find. Can I do it yes. from here? Actually, you're a co-presenter. You can, yeah. You can do yeah. Anything. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Where's Nora? Well, I've got Nora. Nora's skinning, Nora's skinning okay. right now. Skinning right now. Okay, my okay. Nora, 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 I'm going to try and give you the mic. She's here. She's here. Okay. I'm, she's here. Um, I'm here. Okay. Uh, I did. Hi, Nora. Okay. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi, Jason. Fantastic. Yes, I can hey, hear you. Where are you from? <laughs> I'm from Colombia, South America. Oh, ah, okay. Cool. It's early. Uh -huh. Excellent. It's 30 here. Okay. Uh -huh. So did you do a lesson? Yes, I did it. Okay, which, which I chose which one? task sheet five. Okay, you did you did the level five lesson, yeah? Did you do all the exercises yeah. in the lesson? Yes, there are three exercises. Okay, there. and and did you what from the start, the first page of the lesson to the last? Did you get to the out there task? Yes, I did exercise one, two, and three. Okay. And so, so you, do you have any questions you want to ask me? Yeah, it was the follow, uh, following activity after okay. this because uh, that's what that was my question. Right. In the free task, because uh, I did it, <laughs> and I said, okay, this is a speaking activity, but I don't know what to do now. Okay. After this well, expression. Well, at the, uh, if you do, if you start with the lesson from page one, and there's usually three or four task sheets with exercises on. And, and and you should just go through those and then you get to the end. Always at the end, there's a thing called the out there task. Okay? All right. And if you read that, then it'll tell you what to do next. And it usually, at a higher level, if you've done level five, it might ask you to create your own questions or there might be some questions you can ask. Have okay. you got it in front of you? No, I can't do it now because I'm okay. I let me use another browser here. Maybe I can get it now. This is a good example, you see, because um, <laughs> it, it's, uh -huh. it's 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 like I, this happens sometimes that when the first time you talk to someone who's who's done this, you know, it's like people you you can give people documents and everyone kind of interprets them slightly differently from the person who wrote them and books and everyone when you read a book everyone reads it slightly differently and understands slightly different things so it's always at the start when you first talk to someone you usually have to you know say yeah okay so you start on page one go through all of the exercises and then read the out there task and um, make sure you understand that and then call me and that's the way it works you know okay i see I will. I will try it later. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> so um, I would like to to listen to someone else. Okay. Doing the same, so I can I can. Do okay. It. I, I just try it, and and then. That's great. No, that's, that's no problem. No problem. Thanks for thanks for coming on and having a chat. That's it's really useful because that's an important thing to. To point out to people. All okay. Right. Thank Sounds you very great. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Nora. Thank you, Nora. Okay. Have we got uh, anyone bus, else bus, who wants to have a go? Well, now that Nora's done it, everyone should be fine with coming on, right? <laughs> I need another <laughs> volunteer. Uh, I'll leave now. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll turn you off. Yeah, yeah. Case, case <laughs> While I'm turning Nora off, could you please uh, look, see if someone else is volunteering? So Basum, okay, I'm let me, sorry. Let, let me have a look. It's not happening with Basum today. Uh, we're okay. going to have to find out here. Does anyone else want to have a, a chat with me who's done the lesson? 
Uh, thanks, Sylvia. I turned her mic off, though. So yeah, just 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 put a, put just write in the chat box if you want to have a chat with me. Anthony, did you want to? Let's go. I'll, I'll go. Nice. Hey, he's got to give it a go. All right, let me illuminate him. Who's that? Anthony. I'm going to turn him on. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh. His mic will turn on quickly. If not, we'll find someone else. <laughs> Anthony's oh, mic okay. is going on. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep trying, Anthony. Someone else, though, while, we're, while, I'm, while I continue to try Anthony here? Jason, do you have a link? Uh, oh, there it goes. No. There, you go. there you go. Just put it in there. Now, Anthony, the day doesn't work for Anthony right now. Um, okay. Are you volunteering, Tatiana? She's going to kill me. <laughs> no. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm at the point where I see somebody right in the chat, and I think that that's enough. <laughs> All right. Okay. What, 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 you want to talk a little more what about, about... Yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, uh, we'll let... We'll let we we'll let people have a think. Okay, so what um, what would have happened then is uh, that we'd have had someone who who usually, if they've this is the first time, they say, "Excuse me, I'm I'm you know on the street." They say, "Excuse me, I'm learning English. Can I ask you some questions?" And then ninety nine percent of the time, people say yes. Well, when you're doing it online. Um, you've met via chat on Facebook or, or G plus or wherever or, or a website and and you've had some some contact and then um, they do the 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 pre task the the, the self study get it clear in their head what they're going to do and then you talk online and they record it now doing it and and and, and working in this way getting people to listen to themselves and uh, two or three times on the same stuff does have an effect on them and and a, a couple of years ago i i i kind of got tired of um saying hey this is really cool uh you know it's kind of backed up by um psychology and memory and all of this you know studies on that so uh, but people kind of probably thought oh yeah 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 um, so I thought, oh, well, shit, let's just do it. You know, let's record it. We've got the tools. Let's just do it. So I went on to, um, I think it was englishclub.com, and, and in, a, in, a, in a forum where people were trying to find people to talk to, to practice their English, I just put a note saying, you know, if you're frustrated, if you've been learning English for years and you still feel you can't speak with confidence, um, you know, uh, I'll do it for free. I'll help you for free if you let me record everything. And so I got my first two were um, a Chinese girl called Jane, who is 27, who uh, had studied English for 16 years in China and still sounded like a, a beginner. And I did some work with her in the same way that I would have done just then with any of you guys. And she recorded it. We did all that. But basically, what I do is I, I take the first recording, and then I take a recording a bit later, and then I edit them together so that you can hear the difference, if there's a difference. Just to experiment. And this is what I and, and just to this experiment. Is, um, and this is... Have a listen to yeah, Jane. So you can have a did, listen to Jane. Apologies to... Jason, apologies to... Uh, Basum, Basum, Basum just yeah. bursts in the room. Oh, Basum's there, is he? Oh, Basum's there, is, is he? he? Yes. Hello. Oh, this Hello. Is. Hi, this is Basum. Hi, Basum. How are you? Where are you? Hi, Basum. How are you? Hi, Where are you? Fine, fine, I'm from Tunisia. From Tunisia. Fantastic. From Tunisia. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. 
So did you do okay. did you do the exercises so you, in the lesson? Did you do the exercises in the lesson? Yes, I did the first uh, exercises about shopping. About shopping. Okay, brilliant. About shopping. Okay, brilliant. So have you got any questions for me? So have you got any questions for me? Uh, in fact, no, because uh, I almost do the same with my students because I start from the less difficult and then uh, improve the level of difficulty. But you do much better, of course. The exercises are, there is a, a gradation or graduation, mm -hmm. gradual uh, difficulty mm -hmm. in the exercises and I find them very nice. Okay. For beginners. Well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It is, it's a, it's a very yeah, low yeah, level it lesson. Is, it's, a, it's a very low level lesson. But do you want to just read, but do you want to just read, read the out there task? Read the out there task. At the end. At the end. Sorry. Can you just read? Read. One? Can you just read? Towards read, the end, read, there's the out. Towards the end, there's the, the out, out there task, which is a yes. speaking out there task. There task, which is a speaking task. Mm, uh, in the speaking task, I am give prices of different items. Is, it, is this the? Is yeah, the you are. You all you do. Yeah, is, you are. You all you do is. So you just, just. Just so ask just, me just, those questions. Just ask me those questions. Okay, so uh, I think the first is the price of a liter of milk, but I don't know which currency am I supposed to give. The That's DVD, okay. The one is so a liter of milk. So a liter of milk. Oh, okay. In oh, okay. So how do you form? So how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you form the question? How do you form the question? Ask me the question. Yeah. How, much, how much is a DVD? Okay, a DVD, okay. A DVD in the UK, UK is about twenty pounds at the moment, I think. Is it Can you hear me? Twenty pounds at the moment, I think. Yeah, too expensive. Can you hear me? Is three to five yeah. dinars. Uh, the dinar is half the pound, I think. Uh, Three to five one dinar. to dinars. Oh wow, golly, that's that's very, very that's a completely different sort of price, oh, wow. isn't it? Golly, that's that's very, very that's a completely different sort of price, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, different, totally different. So prices in your country are much yeah. more expensive than ours. Okay. How much is a litre of yeah. milk? Am I supposed to ask the next question? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How much is a litre of milk in... Uh, is it, are you from Britain, by the way? Sorry. Yes, I'm from the yes, UK. Yes, I'm from yeah. the UK, yeah. Okay. So, in Tunisia, a litre of milk is one dinar. That is half a pound. Uh, okay. Okay. And in the UK... And in the UK... It's, it's about 50 it's pence. It's about 50 pence. Which is half a pound. Which is half a pound. Mm, almost the same price, yes? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Concerning the journey, so the 10 minute journey by bus or by train can cost 800 million, that is the equivalent of four pounds, I think, in your country. Sorry, I didn't hear Sorry, that. I didn't How hear much? That. How much? 800 million is possibly 40 pounds. 40 pence. 40 pence. Yes. Like that, yeah? Like that, yeah. What about uh, this uh, activity in your country? How much does it cost? So for a short, so I think you short, said for a short bus, was it for a short bus, bus, for a short bus, bus ride? Short bus yeah? ride, yeah. For, for a 10 minute it, journey by bus it, or by train. In public a 10 minute transport. journey, 10 minute okay. Journey. Okay. Okay. Well, in London, okay. well in London, it can cost, it about, can cost about about three pounds. About three pounds for uh -huh. a ten-minute journey. Ten-minute journey. Yeah. That's if you buy That's with a buy with a, buy a, buy a, a ticket a ticket there and then there and then. Okay. But if you have a special you have weekly a special pass, weekly pass. Mm -hmm. It's much much cheaper. It's you much see. much cheaper. But it's okay. it's it's very very it's, expensive it's very, public very transport expensive here. Public transport here. Okay. So shall I move to the next question? The yeah. Let's let's do one more. Yeah, let's let's do one more. 
Yes, uh, the phone card is, uh, it depends on how much you need because there are different prices for phone card. Five dinars, ten dinars, twenty, as you like. I agree, I agree, I agree. yes. I agree. You're, yes. You're, how much you are ready to pay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do people yeah. use phone Do cards use a lot? Phone cards a lot? Yeah, yeah. Because so, uh, uh, some people I talk to say, oh, people don't use oh, phone cards use now, phone so, cards much. now yeah. so much. Oh, we use them. Oh, we need them. We can't do without them anymore. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, people use yeah, them in the UK if they don't the have a have mobile a, phone. Mobile phone. And Everybody they want to call. They want to call. Even children. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, in Tunisia, yeah. everyone, in has, Tunisia, a everyone has a mobile phone. Yes, sometimes more. Than Fantastic. That. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. How many? How okay, many have how you many, got? How many have you got? I've got two. <laughs> two. <laughs> I've only got one. Look, there's mine. Look, there's mine. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Yeah. Go, go back and go thank, back you very, and very thank you very much, very Masu. much, Masu. And go back go and back listen and to this recording again, again and hear yourself okay. speaking English. Okay. <laughs> and 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 hear hear your echo. I don't know how much you could hear that, but it sounded like you were in a football stadium. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Not your fault. That but that was great. Thank you, Basun. That was fantastic. fantastic yeah. So we got a couple people on here. I'm really, really happy that worked out. And um, thanks for volunteering, <laughs> folks. And uh, Jason, now I think you want to play a video of some uh, showing some of your students. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to play some audio. Audio. And do you want to you want to take care of the controls? The the one thing we don't want is that you and I are both working yeah. the controls. Okay, I'll I'll have I'll have the controls now. Thanks, Chase. Okay. okay. Yep. Thanks a lot. Yep. Okay, guys. So so what? I, that was really great with with Basu. That was fantastic. So that that's kind of how it works. You know, you you just have a conversation. It's not rocket science, but but because you prepared before it, you have something to say. And and you know, in the last five six Welcome years, this English just before there. I do the audio, you know, there are millions of people on um, platforms trying to find people to practice with, and um, and 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 it's a great idea. It works. It's brilliant. Everyone inside them, the every language learner, they know they need to practice, and they need to practice with someone who speaks the language fluently. But the problem is, and the reason it hasn't taken off, is because people also think that they can just go and practice. So once, so once they've found someone, they think it's easy to just start practicing. But once they start trying to do it, they start thinking, um, oh, what am I going to say? How am I going to say it you know, so that it isn't boring or just repeating myself? Um, how is it relevant to, to me and what I need to know and where I need to go? How do I make it into a course? There's all these questions. And that, that means I've seen lots of stuff online that people going, you know, it's great language exchange, but it's not working for me. How do I make it better? And that's what the, the English Out There content does. It helps form structure around something that is not naturally structured. Okay. So going on to the audio few minutes to go. Um, what happens is I, I, with Jane, who was 27 at the time, and she'd studied English for, for 16 years, you'll hear the first clip is her the first time she talked to me on Skype. Okay. And the second clip is her after six, is, is the sixth time she talked to me on Skype. Okay, so 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 it's only six sessions, and she did six lessons of the OT, and in between she listened to it, and she also spoke to two or three other people, and did the same lesson with them. So she did six times with me, but times three by doing it with other people. So what I want you to do now 
is uh, see if see if you can hear uh, any difference in the way Jane pronounces the words and how she speaks. Okay, have a listen. I want to know how to expel people. You want to learn how to. This one. Equals. Equals. Okay, so equals. So it's, when you say equals, think equals. of a think of a W in the middle. Okay, so equals. Instead of a so U, think of a W. Equals. Think of a. Okay. W so equals. Equals. How do you spell it? Well, you spell it. So like that equals, equals. but th ah, okay. but but think of it saying well, it like it that like that equals, equals. yay this <laughs> time think of well it done it like that. Uh, 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 you must understand me because uh, I no I I have the pronunciation French so I I. Difficult to return in pronunciation. Clip, clip two of Jane's session six, which is based on an intermediate lesson that she chose. Mm. Okay, the first situation. Um, yeah. Hi, if you can hear me again now. So Jane, um, and that's that's from the first session. To the sixth session, um, and she worked really hard because she did do it. She she did talk to me, listen to the recordings with me, and did it with two or three other people and listened to the recordings there. And she chose the lessons she wanted to do, and she went from two beginners with Chinese instructions um, up to an elementary, and then a lower intermediate, then an upper, then an intermediate, and she just went boom like that. And that's. That's my experience with quite a few people are doing this. You know, there's there's um, there's other stuff I can play you, but we're kind of out of time. But you can go to my my website and listen to those. But let's just finish off the presentation. Um, the the chat here. Okay, so go away. Um, so when you talk to someone, oh, why is that? Okay. Um, so when you talk to someone, record it, listen again two or three times. This is this is me in help outs um, with uh, a guy in Vietnam, Jeremy, who I met on help outs recently, who um, we had great fun with, and and, and 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 we're just doing what I did with Basum and what I did with with Jane. You know, he prepared, and then we had a conversation. So um, let's extend. Okay. Um, now, when you use the content, there's lots of different ways of using the content, but this is just an idea that I wanted to give you, and I'll give you the link to this um, because this is this is um, sort of curating other content around English out there lessons because our stuff is is just is PDFs and MP3s, but um, what you can do with it, you can do anything with it. Basically, um, this is this is stuff in in Padlet, um, which is um, a very useful tool. It's a curation tool. And what I did was here's the English out there lesson by the, the way you can see, like the stuff that you downloaded, okay, which has a, a topic, aim, language focus, and what I've done is gone, okay, so this is on manners. Let's find some YouTube videos or some videos on manners. And there's there's a funny one here with one of these animated ones. There's one of uh, some guys uh, on a tube in London pushing someone out the door, which is really rude, obviously. And it's a bit of a, a you know, a, a, a remarkable video. You don't forget that video, but it's about manners. It's bad manners. So these are kind of raising people's, you know, warmers on, on manners. Then you do the lesson, print it off or do it in Adobe Reader. There's a, an MP3 here that goes with the lesson. So you can play that when you get to um, task sheet two. Um, 
And then you can also listen to Liliana from Colombia or Jane. Jane actually did this lesson and I've got a recording of her doing it. So you can hear someone else, two other people, doing the speaking task, the out there task for the lesson. And then when you've done that, you can um, join a, a hangout with me. If you know, if you're the teacher, you can have a hangout with all your students and say, okay, send me your links to your MP3s. We can have a listen together and see what happened, what went right, what went wrong, how funny it was. Or you can uh, discuss it in a Facebook group and post the links in there. Or you know, like you can come back and do it all in a in a, in a WizIQ class like this. So it's like step one. Preparation warmers. Step two, do the lesson, listen to the MP3. Step three, here's someone else, here's someone do it. Step step three, actually do it. Speak to someone. Missed that bit out, kind of crucial. And 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 do the exercises yourself, the out there tasks, the speaking tasks, record it, and then four, post it into social media and discuss it as your assignment. So that's that's way, one way of doing it, you see. And if you guys would like to go away and, okay, yeah, I've seen that, Sylvia. Okay, if you, if you want to go away um, and do the tasks from the lessons you downloaded, post them into the page on WizIQ and I'll have a listen and we'll have a chat and just say how you feel about it. Okay, so let's go through the... Um, Chat box. Sylvia said, "Bring up questions if you don't think I've answered them. How do you? How do they find people? Okay, there's lots and lots of ways that your students can find people. For example, um, edmodo.com. If you're a teacher in a school and um, you've got a class and you 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 can go onto Edmodo. You can meet other teachers on Edmodo. You can get your classes to meet on Edmodo." And have a, a group that they're all in, but then they can swap Skype IDs and they can talk to each other and record their their language exchange. You know, one sort of, you can prepare them with the materials and then they do the language exchange. You can uh, meet people on Facebook. You can meet people on Google Plus. Anywhere that you meet people, socialize. You can meet English speaking people, and you can also even just pay people. You know, like I'm experimenting with helpouts. Um, all I'm doing is is talking to people on there, and they're paying me a little bit of money just to talk to them to do the practice. So there's, you can you can do it anywhere that you meet an English speaker. Um, so Robin says I'm writing as fast as I can while listening. Any chance you can email a set of relevant links to participants, please? Um, oh, right, I don't know. That's that's one for Jay. Um, adult audience. I'm just going down the, the questions, Jay. Do you want to help me with these? Have I missed any? Sure, yeah. I was going to say, at the, are you at the point where you want to take I was thinking at the end we could take some questions. If, if there's I anything finished. more I, you I, want. I, 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 I'm, no, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Let's have questions. Let's do that. And why don't we, uh, if you've already asked a question, let's ask it again, just because this way it will be easier. I'll facilitate that. And before you start, uh, one other thing is we can continue this on the class page. It's very important to remember we have that option. People are going to be posting their uh, pre-class task answers, um, not not just before the live class, obviously, but after as people come in to watch it asynchronously. So, uh, Jason, I'm sure you'll pop back in on the pre-class page and you can post links and other things there. Let's go to Armando's question. How would you handle big groups? Jason, how about big groups? How would I, how would I, how would I handle groups? Um, okay, well, when you teach, if you're, if you're teaching a group,